I think when it came to my children, I think actually one of the positive things that has probably happened is just a bit more sense of self-management, you know, when it came to, you know, to their own time. I know because I was so worried about what our routine would be initially, you know, I'd got um, my girls just to, to sit down and, and do like a little timetable schedule, like a daily one for themselves. And actually, I think that was probably in, in some ways a good experience for them because it was about letting them have some agency over their day, you know, so I think there's a lot of reflection actually what is schooling and what is mass schooling this idea that we send our children for so many hours into a building following set rules and you know uh, and all these things that's not necessarily always a bad thing but definitely I think you know that there was a bit of a realization that that the freedom that came with just being at home and learning through just doing you know fun activities that they'd enjoy they were able to pick when you know the time they want to read and how long they want to read for they could pick which activity they wanted to do and I think that was really interesting. One of the items which I'm probably most grateful for lockdown is the time that, that I have spending time with other people because I think before I think it's mostly affected as lockdown was appearing or, or starting up. Life can be as small or as big as you want it. As long as it suits you, that's okay. I couldn't show my work or have visit galleries or have my work shown. So that kind of affected me a lot. Also, you know who your real friends are because they're the ones where you can pick things right up with them. Where you left off, like the lockdown never happened. <laughs> 